Hey guys, Path of Gaming right here right now bringing you another TFT video from Paths Fundamentals. And in this video we're going to cover end game boards, essentially how to win games. So, you got to figure out what your win condition is, which means are you going to level or are you going to roll? And you got to keep in mind that you always want to be capping. So, what does that actually mean? Well, first of all, congratulations. You've top forward. And if you haven't top forward, then you should ignore this video. So like these points are only important for you once you top four, then you want to think about how do I get a top two or top one. But before that, you're playing a late game board that I showed you in the previous video, and you're just trying to get a top four. But if you're already doing really well compared to the lobby, then you got to decide, am I going to reroll a three cost or a four cost on eight? How much gold do I have? Is anyone contesting me? If you hit your three star three cost, it's a decent spike. If you hit a three star four cost, you usually win the game. Like with a three star Draven, three star Aurelia, they're super strong. But typically the safer play is to just go to level nine and play legendaries. And you gotta think about how much gold you have once you level. So maybe on uh, five, five after the carousel, you realize, Hey, my board's pretty strong. I have 50, 60 HP and two people are dead and two people are about to die. So I should probably econ up. And the cool thing is while you're econing, you get up to 50 gold, maybe on stage six, one, six, two, and you realize, okay, so now with this 50 gold, I can either roll down and try a three star something, or maybe I just wait until the next carousel and after carousel, I send it, I get to level nine and I try to find legendaries. So you gotta make sure you're keeping your econ and ideally you're not putting gold into experience because that'll lock you in to leveling. So just sit on your gold and decide what the best thing to do is. Based on, let's say, let's say other people are about to die so like if you go to nine and you add, I don't know, one extra unit that doesn't do anything, maybe you could roll down on eight. Or if you actually have enough gold, you can go to nine and you can try to roll for some legendaries, then it'll be worth it. So let's go over the legendaries. Now legendaries like Jace can use AD and attack speed really well. And then Victor and, and Zeri can use AP and, and attack speed very well. And Jace can use a lot of items as well. So I think like in my book, Jace, Jinx, Jigter, Jerry are the, are the four best legendaries that are like most flexible. Obviously Kaisa is right up there, but the thing about Kaisa is she kind of gives money, uh, she gives mana to everybody. Uh, and you don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be about money, man. Uh, so by feeding mana to the opponent's team, Kaisa kind of gives your team, but if you have uh, Morello and if she's two star and she like the second cast usually wipes everything, uh, Victor's really good, like two star, like these, these are two star legendaries, obviously Jace is just amazing because he just gives attack speed to the whole team. Jinx is like a, like a Morello. Victor does a lot of damage. Zeri does decent damage. Now she got bug, bug fix. Uh, Silco is extremely risky because if you don't have uh, an explosive explosive board he can just kill your board tom kench like putting in two star tom kench on nine like stage six is usually not worth it like it's a good sneaky play if you need to eat a special special tank but otherwise he's not going to farm you much and galio like two star galio is cool but like it's he's hard to fit like yeah you want you can play galio and brand and alice uh galio and uh Brom and Alistar, but that's five units, and then you only have room for four more. So keep that in mind. But th these four guys are probably your best bet. So just to go over it, it's a short video. You gotta make sure you top forward. Once you top forward, then you think about three starring your three cost or your four cost, or going to nine and adding in some legendaries. Think about how you can always be capping how you can always get stronger and how you make sure that you get a first when you're ahead because a lot of people throw away their lead and that's a shame when you're when you're guaranteed top four 
and you just donkey roll and don't improve your board at all and you're just going from like a guaranteed first with as i mentioned like 60 hp and everyone's below you and then somehow you barely get a top four that's just sad so plan out your end game and uh stick with your end game comp once you have your late game comp down and thank you guys for watching if you want to get more info more resources or you want to get coached join the discord and please like comment and subscribe to the video pathogaming out